These are sweet potatoes, so these are absolutely beautiful. This is an edible sweet potato. So a lot of the times you'll um, hear about putting sweet potatoes in your containers, ornamental sweet potatoes, um, but these are a little bit different. So underneath here, and we started these from slips. So how you start a slip is you take, you can see that this is coming up from the ground right here. You will take a sweet potato and um, you can pop it into the into a little bit of soil early on in the year. I usually start mine in February. Um, so it's like halfway down in the soil, give it just a little bit of water and it will start to send up shoots on that sweet potato. As it sends up shoots, when they get about six inches long, I break them off, put them in a glass of water and they'll root out. Um, and then once they have roots, I plant them in like a four by four inch container and allow it to grow for a while. And then when it's time to plant, usually in June, these are pretty sensitive to cold temperatures. They don't like temperatures under about 50. So it's around the first part of June, we'll plant these um, and get them going out in the garden. And you can see they just take off. They're crazy all over the place, but they're beautiful. They trellis, they hang, and you could use these kind of as double duty if you wanted to. Instead of using that um, ornamental sweet potato, you could use this sweet potato um, and have a vegetable crop growing underneath your ornamental containers instead of just throw away ornamental. Well, we've noticed, we grow a lot of these in Utah County. I have a couple mm -hmm. of different gardeners growing them. And when they dig them, you assume that it's like digging an Irish potato or just regular potatoes, but they've been finding that at least on the varieties we've been growing, and they're directly under the plant, mm -hmm. and they go deeper than regular Very potatoes, deep. and they can be a challenge sometimes if, especially the first time you dig them to get them out, you know, they're not impossible at all to get out, but they have a unique habit. And you assume yes. that you're going to be digging potatoes like the Irish potatoes, but they've been fun to grow. We've been playing with Georgia Jet, mm -hmm. Beauregard. I can't remember the name of it. I ordered a new variety from Johnny's that's supposed to be a 90 day. Oh, And so really we're excited fast. to see how it does. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're really quite fun. You can order the slips online. If you don't want to start your own, you can order them and have them sent right to you, which is a great um, kind of cheat workaround so you don't have to do so yeah, much work. I ordered slips. I, yeah. You can order slips from Burpees Gurney. Sometimes you can find them at local garden centers. You can. But when they do ship them, you have to make sure and unpack them and follow the instructions mm -hmm. so that they don't desiccate or dry out on you yeah. as, before you plant them. But How really do you fun. know when they're done? Um, so when they're ripe? They take a number of days. So depending on the type that you plant, like Ton was saying, he's got a variety that's like 90 days. Um, most of them are quite a bit longer than 90 days. Do you remember what the, like the Georgia Jet is? Off Georgia the Jet's high? 110. I 110. think Bo I was Bo thinking around, 110. Okay, I was thinking around 110, 120, somewhere in there. And so knowing that time frame would give me, um, you know, that mindset of when I needed to dig these. Um, but yeah, so the tops don't die back like t potatoes the same way. Um, as it starts to cool off, you know, these will be sensitive to those cool temperatures and they will die back. So I do try to get them out of the ground. And I know that we've hit that 110, 120 days, so we can pull them at that point. Um, and then they do have to be cured. So you have to cure them at the right temperature for a little bit of time um, so that those skins around the outside will kind of so tuck Is it around up. 70 degrees 70 for degrees. 10 days? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you can keep them at 55 and they'll last for at least a few months. Yeah, so I've, I've had a master gardener that has cured hers really well and she was still eating them about a month ago from last year. So, so they sort of wild. Uh, we've let ours get hit by light frost. The soil's temperature temperatures are still warm but we'll wait till October and let them get about hit by hot light frost. Just cut them back and then dig them. Yeah. Well, that'd be great doing. because you wouldn't want it for the ornamental purposes right. when you get to mid-October. Right. Yeah. It's time to take it out anyway. But they're they're a fantastic plant. I just love how crazy and how much territory they cover. It's so much fun to watch them grow. Them grow. So this is a good one for food storage. Then it, it is. is. It will store almost like a winter squash. Yeah. It does for a long time. Now talk just a bit about the curing part. So when you dig these, the skin is really fragile and delicate on them. And if you ding them up too much, they can get areas that will rot. And so you carefully lift them. You can leave a little bit of the dirt on them. You don't want to go in with the kitchen scrubber or anything. And you just put them in a room that's around 70 degrees or in the shade around 70 on cardboard or on something that they can rest on and just let them sit for around that seven to 10 days, maybe even a little longer. And you can look and feel the skin a week, 10 days down the road and it will thicken up. 
and it'll be a little less difficult to scratch it with your fingernail. And at that point, you can move them into cold, not really cold storage, they need to be stored at 55 to 60 degrees. And if they're those temperatures, they'll store for several months. I had a master gardener use a plant, like a seedling mat, and she used a temperature um, thermometer and set it at 70 and then placed them in cardboard boxes just mm. right on top of that and that's that's the master gardener that was still eating hers about a okay. month ago so she cured Everything extremely right. well I was like wow I am impressed that was amazing <laughs>